everybody and welcome. It's Boris at your College Design Studio. Uh, today we're doing a quick tutorial on animating a logo in After Effects. So we're taking a look at the Arcology Designs logo and we're going to take a look at it really quick. Um, what we did uh, is we created the, the image or, or all the layers, all the vector um, graphics in uh, Fireworks and imported it into uh, Adobe Illustrator. So then we open After Effects. Um, we open After Effects and we go to File, Import, uh, or we right click uh, here where it says Project and Import. We click on File. Um, the, the files we have are on the desktop and we just search for um, AD Icon Converted. That's, that's the file that we used and it's in Adobe Illustrator. That's um, The reason why we do this is because we want to import all of our layers and we have each and every element um, as a separate layer. To show you what I'm talking about, right here, um, the Arcology Designs is one layer, the circle is another, um, the first uh, leg of the uh, A is another layer, then the second and the third. Uh, as you can see here, it wants to start turning them off and then back on. Um, they're all individual layers. To get the effect of continuous rotation, like that, um, with the yellow circle. What we do is we go to the layer that you want to rotate uh, and we click on Y rotation here. Uh, basically once you open it you'll see two options transform and material options. Click the down arrow on transform and go all the way down to Y rotation and uh, down here uh, is a little circle. Uh, if you click on it a little arrow or a little line is going to go across it and it looks like a watch or a clock and that's exactly what it is. It's basically a timer um, that tells After Effects where in, within the frames to place the effect. Um, so from zero seconds to about a little before the first second right here we have about a hundred and well, it's supposed to be about a hundred and there it is right there um, right there on the money 180 degrees so from here to here is 180 degrees of rotation. So it flips over. And then the next rotation is a little slower. Down to here, another 180 degrees for 360. Um, and if you just stop there, that's it. It rotates one time, and then you have to continuously um, or manually rotate or in insert the points in which rotation should occur. To do away with that, um, just double click on rotation and the little expression uh, line is going to open up uh, expression for Y rotation uh, make sure you have enable expression click uh, click on here and right here where it says expression type in uh, loop L O O P out uh, parentheses cycle in uh, double quotation marks um, I believe capitalization matters uh, so the O in out is capitalized everything else is lowercase and what that does is um, it enables continuous rotation. It basically cycles through again and again and again and again and it continues to rotate that. So you get this uh, nice effect. And if you go in, uh, if you use Premiere Pro or um, Sony Vegas or anything like that, what you can do once in that program is you can double click on the video footage here, uh, scale it, make it smaller and put it down in the corner somewhere so that you have um, this logo instead of taking up the whole screen, it's basically is down there in the corner of your video uh, rotating. And it's for labeling purposes or for effects, um, whatever you really want to do with it. Um, make sure you get all your anchor points uh, centered the way you want them to be. Uh, if you want it to be in the center of the screen or, or somewhere else. Now let's take a quick look at how we do um, the review effects of, your, of the of the letters and of the little pegs. Um, keep in mind um, we're going to be creating masks and uh, what happens is um, the mask reveals from from the top and from the bottom um, of the mask. Uh, I don't know of, of a way to change that so that it reveals it from a different um, starting point in the mask. So what uh, we did was we created a mask right here and as you can see it's positioned very differently um, because it it reveals from top to bottom. So starting up here at the, at the top of the circle, it starts to reveal down. 
So if, if I were to turn this off, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, that's that's for this one. That's why it's at an angle. Okay. So let me turn off um, everything that we don't need. Okay. So now we're animating just this, just like that. Uh, as you can see, the reveal the reveal effect is coming from down here. Um, and we have it um, set at mass capacity 100% inverted. If you click, uh, if you don't click on inverted, it basically does the exact opposite. The whole thing is revealed, and as you rotate, uh, it hides it. What we want to do is we want to click inverted, um, so that it hides it to begin with, and then slowly reveals it um, based on where you've put in the little, little points. And as you can see, uh, we've put in that it's fully revealed by about 1.5 seconds. Um, into the footage. So one and a half seconds later the, the second peg is fully revealed. At this point here, um, let me just find the layer, the first leg is revealed, there you go. At, at this point the first leg is revealed so from zero to a little before the end of the first second uh, then by the second second. Um, let's see can we get the other one? No. No. Okay yeah. Uh, Wrong one. Okay, there it is. Now, by this point, um, the other the other peg of the A is revealed as well. So by using masks, uh, a quick um, quick rotation animation, you can create a an easy, uh, decent looking logo in After Effects. Uh, again, I would use fireworks uh, to create vector images. Uh, make sure they're all in different layers. Then import that into um, Adobe Illustrator, uh, and then import that into After Effects. It seems like a lot of steps, but it, it really is worth it um, in the end. And as you can see, the type here it says vector art. And that's exactly what you're looking for. If you go into Photoshop, um, you can't get that effect because Photoshop is uh, it's basically for digital painting, uh, digital art, and things like that. If you use a graphics tablet like um, the Wacom Intuos um, or Graphite. As, as for different applications, Fireworks uh, is very good at creating um, logos and simple images that are that don't vary a lot in color. So if you look at if you look at this image, there's really not a lot of variance. It's it's the orange A, um, the the dark red or dark purple uh, lettering, and the yellow green of the circle. Um, so really about uh, one, two, three, about four colors, uh, not counting the background. That's five. Uh, something pretty simple and not um, not very processor intensive, no, not not heavy at all on the computer. If you have any questions on how to achieve this effect, um, don't hesitate to shoot us in the comments. We'll get back to you. Uh, I think that's it for this tutorial, uh, and I'll see you next time on our Ecology Designs production. Thanks for watching.